There is some um, argument to, to be had over the, the back line, so we'll go ahead and list it out. Antoine Dupont, Johnny Sexton at 10, Robbie Henshaw at 12, George Nord at 13, and then your winners are Duan van der Merwe, Louis Shree Samet, and Stuart Hogg. So what would you change? Jeez, to be honest, like, not a whole lot there. I mean, maybe I'll put Fiku over North. I thought Fiku was immense. Fiku was awesome. Um, but it's did he have a better tournament? Yeah, yeah, but it's tough. It's like, did he have a better tournament? Because you watch him and he's like so electric and so exciting to watch. Whereas George North has always kind of like reinvented his career at 13 versus being on the wing. It's like, he wasn't as exciting to watch, but that's just how, like, no one's going to be as exciting to watch as French rugby. They're just, that is all spectacular, you know. But you, and do then you know you one thing? Moments of... Sorry, do you know one thing about George North though? George North, legendary player. Don't get me wrong, but George North playing thirteen, something about that sounds wrong. Like it almost makes my spine tingle because I'm just kind of like it shouldn't work, but it does. It's like ketchup with eggs, in my opinion. Some people just they won't do it. I like but ketchup with eggs. I like ketchup with eggs too, but some people listen and be like ketchup with eggs. It's like George yeah. North playing 13. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people be telling you, Jack. <laughs> That's what people be saying about George North playing 13. That's all I've said. But, I, I mean, know, in all I fairness, he's scoring tries, finishing stuff for Wales. So, I can understand why people voted him in, but I totally agree with that. I think Gael yeah, Fico, good. he's class. 